your alarm. Okay, so we're going to sit down and wait for the wait for the TV broadcast. Oh, it looks like we've got a bog coming in outside. That's just great. So maybe it is they stay inside an exercise day. Okay, let's call it an exercise day. We've got plenty of food, at least for two days. And we've got... Sleeping tablets. Painkillers. How you doing, Chloe? Okay, we want to get our strength up. So, push-ups it is. And we're just going to do them until we get exhausted. And we can... Sit down and rest. As soon as the bar goes away, we can stand up and get back to work. Okay, and unfortunately this is going to be close rally for a while. Okay, so now Chloe has three strength. So if we can get all these Moodles down, we'll see what our new carrying capacity is. It should be much improved. Uh, oh, unfortunately, almost that entire exercise montage, I heard some zombies just downstairs. So I think there's at least two of them down there having a conversation. We're tired, it's a bit early to be tired, but we really can't fight too well in this condition anyway. But we could go downstairs, fight off these zombies, liberate the area, but not with not with all this exercise fatigue. So we're just gonna sit around and do some reading. Continuing to be pretty dull. So, farming will increase the first time we look at a plant. Oh, let's read the farming anyway. Okay, so we now have to start being worried about the helicopter event, which is, which is a problem. We're still in agony, we still have all this exercise fatigue. We can still hear friends outside. So if we hear a helicopter, we just have to do a mad dash for that car. But I'm not fighting in agony with exercise fatigue. Not unless I absolutely have to. It actually sounds like there are now at least two groups of zombies outside. Okay, so we're on day six. So we could get a helicopter at any time now. And we're not was health we're not in the best condition to fight i think i need to go scrap with those guys outside anyway just so they don't get between me and my car after we eat an entire ham
Okay, let's have a bit of a test fight against this guy over here. Again, I'm gonna shout at him. Okay, that wasn't so bad. It felt like a lot of swings. Two there, one there. I don't like running towards a fence I haven't cleared. But... Just not feeling... Confident until my arms are... Their best. Okay, so we're just gonna... Run around everything in the nearby area. See, so anytime I'm going to engage something, I try to look at who might jump me while I'm in that fight. So like I look at this one zombie over here as bait as much as anything else. Now, I've been stomping things on the ground quite a bit to save my weapon durability, but with a crowbar, not strictly necessary. I know there's at least two or three in those woods there. Right. While we're out here, let's get our water bottle. We could use that car to do some clearing of the nearby area, but I want to keep it safe. At least until I get another one. Okay, see, I, I hate, I hate trees. Just hate them. At some point, I will just have to do some shouting to lure everyone out of the forest, but... Okay, that's a scream. Might get some zombies moving. I swear I'm going to move that dead zombie at some point. Hey, our health is good. We are fully operational again. Now, 
if I had an array, a radio with the emergency frequency, we'd be intently listening to that for uh, for sounds of the um, helicopter coming or alerts. Our weight is actually a bit low, so we can afford to eat some some filling stuff. Actually, we don't have a lot of stuff. I don't. We don't have a lot of cereal and the conditions and sound aren't ideal but um we got work to do we've got some gas cans and i want to go see if i can put some gas in them Also had a jack in there. That could be good. So what we could really use now, well, other than the helicopter not being a thing, uh, is a bag. Bag, a saw. These are now high on our priority. And I want to check those cars. I'm just checking the nearby area first. Got to go close to buildings to make sure no one's sitting down. Saw one zombie here. Let's see if there's any more hiding in the trees. These cars seem to have gas. Such a shame, the area is somewhat clear, but it's going to get very unclear in a day or so. Sounds like more than one. Yeah. Okay, so not a lot of gas just sitting around waiting to be taken. We got a tiny bit. Let's, let's see how well our taxi's fueled up. Or we could put it in that other car. It already had a key. So now that we've got a vehicle, we can also start opening houses a bit more. With less concern for house alarm. Assuming we bring the car with us. 
Okay, engine is in really good condition. Batteries in really good condition. Tires are acceptable. Gas tank, it's got tons of gas. So we will go. Uh, actually, we'll put a spare tank in here. Try to get under our weight limit. Yep. Let's see if we can put some gas in the other car. Have a backup. Technically has gas, but not a lot. I wouldn't want to have to use this for really anything. Literally just moving that close to the front door for when we need it. Is still on. Okay, so on our to-do list. How are we doing, Chloe? Okay, on our to-do list, we still want to saw. There's a couple of sheds nearby we can check. Checked all the nearby cars for gas. What else? Oh, bag. Yep. Really need a bag. to go steal some fresh food as well not because we need to keep our weight down just you know, I guess we should be eating anything that's still fresh okay let's uh, set that alarm again I'm not so interested in the um, TV we just want to be awake in case a helicopter comes But one advantage of now having all this exercise regularity is that we can actually do some push-ups without dying. Of course, the next level of strength is uh, quite excessive, but we more or less, I think, got 500 experience points that day from running around, carrying heavy things, smashing some stuff. Uh, and if we just do a little bit of exercise, oh, there's it for five and not 550. Um, even if we just do 10 minutes, let's see what that picks us up. I think it'll give us maybe 200. Okay, well, like 300 for, for just 10 minutes exercise. So, I mean, that's still quite a while to burn through 9,000. Starting today, we're going to try to keep our car close by hand.
Okay. Uh, foraging for beginners. I think we have not passed that yet. We'll take that. Mechanics for intermediates. We will be doing some mechanics at some point. Bit tailoring. Carpentry we've already gotten past. And master booking. Who really cares? Rotten soup. Grab those and board up some windows in our house. Fuck. <laughs> oh, and I can't even run. Oh, that was almost full of my inventory. That's not coming through the audio recording. That's the helicopter. Six days, two hours in. So on the seventh day. And so as to not flood our base with uh, zombies, we are going to get out of here. Can I get past these wrecks that were over here? Oh, jeez. This wasn't a great idea. Okay, road trip time. Oh, it's a little trailer on the back of that one. By just running into the forest when the helicopter came would not have been a great idea. I'm not a slow driver, by the way, I just really don't want to hit a tree. Like, total this car at this point, that would probably be run ending, and that would make me cry. Now, we're not really heading anywhere, we just like to get further away from populated areas. There's another trailer park off down this way somewhere, so... Um, if we start getting... If we start getting lots of zombies, we'll know that that's the case. That we really don't have to go anywhere, but at least we've got the gas that we can go anywhere. carrying broken glass. When did I pick that up? Okay. Welcome to gone. It might make another pass. So we're just gonna 
skill. I don't think I can read any of these books I just got. Uh, nope. Uh, foraging for beginners? We could read that. We're going to miss our 12 o'clock TV show, but I don't want to head back in case the helicopter does another swing. I haven't set the speed to ultra fast either, so we can see these zombies running through the forest. And if I just saw four migrating in that direction, it means there's probably eight out there. Twelve. Give it till maybe two. Okay, that's two p.m. Not guaranteeing the helicopter's not going to make another pass, but. We'll stay near the car for the rest of the day anyway. Now we've also got the option at this point of leaving the trailer park and going somewhere else. But there's a couple of things we'd still like. That little ambush. I'm too cowardly to even get out and, yeah, there we go, and loot those guys. Because of the fourth zombie in the forest with the shotgun. Now, that said, I would like that shotgun, so... But this is why I don't want to get out. Yeah, again, I should check the others for cigarettes and stuff, but um, it's not worth my life. Yeah, again, shotgun without spare ammo is not worth carrying around. It might be hard to use a shotgun too well on this difficulty setting with um, well, I said with so few, with so few zombies, I won't be able to like, sort of gather up huge hordes and train shotgun. Um, train aiming with shotguns. Um, but that said, since there's also very few of them, uh, if I can get to the point where I'm comfortable using revolvers or rifles, that would be very powerful. I'd considered playing a uh, a cop or a burglar, but I thought unemployed would uh would add a little bit more difficulty. Now again, I should check those cars for gas, but... I really should go check those cars for gas. But have I mentioned I hate trees? does have gas in it. This one does have gas in it as well. Trunk's locked. It's fine, there aren't zombies just running to and throw through the forest. We filled that up, that's a good find. Okay, I'm gonna turn the car off. Not saying there aren't any there, but 
they were in the very immediate area, they probably would have jumped me already. Well, the zombies can be real dumb. trees. You can't um, turn around while siphoning gas like you can while say eating or reading or yeah well that is another full tank though so that's good and the other car I didn't even touch so do some backup gas there. Uh, I, could, I don't know if I could uh, haul one of those away I think I could but that would be a bit noisy and overkill. I wonder how close this guy was that whole time. Stealth car. So I'm not going to just run over every zombie I ever see, but while we're in the car, let's, uh, let's use it. Uh, we are out of water. Did I... No, I was going to put a, a bucket or a saucepan of water in the car. I guess I didn't get around to that. We'll do a quick drive around. This guy up there. I lost sight of him for a second, that was bad. Well, we're alive. Would have been nice if we have brought those planks back. Guess we can do that later. Make sure nothing's just wandered into our house. Water is still on. Okay, Coily, how do you think that went? Yep. Agree. Okay, so that was the big, the big meta event. We're still going to lose power at some point. We lose water at some point. We have enough carpentry now to make a crappy little water barrel. We've got a pipe wrench already, so we can plumb. I don't know if we'll stay here. 640. Let's get back out there. I want to have a look at the condition of our car. I mean, we, we weren't exactly uh, smashing hordes and hordes, but let's see how well it's held up anyway. Okay, hood's good. Drunk's okay. Doing fine. Okay, so that's pretty much as expected. Everywhere that we thought was clear is now uh, just as likely having three or four zombies standing on it. So we've sort of got to do this all over again. Yeah, they really have moved in 
and force Well, that's really just to stop things wandering in. Water is still on. Okay, so it is on day seven. The weight's starting to go down. We'll have to sort out that at some point. We power leveled our strength up a bit. That's good. We're on the good side of the helicopter event. That's great. We still don't have a bag. Still don't have a saw. We do have a car in good condition. Plenty of gas. Uh, things are looking pretty good. Let's whip out our map before we go. Okay, so this is us. We have cleared, well, definitely that one, that one. I don't think we went upstairs in this one. I think, we, yeah, we had the helicopter event. Uh, we haven't gone, we don't have a pencil. We haven't gone to this one over here. <laughs> Uh, we've done some of these trailers, but I don't remember which, so we will um, we'll leave them unmarked. Okay, so tomorrow, more killing of zombies in the nearby area, and we're going to try to tick off the rest of these houses. Uh, there is a farm over here. We would really like to get to... Way too big. Way, way, way too big. We'd really like to get over there, feel some of that food. Um, further afield, once we've done that, obviously we've got a uh, big warehouse up here, not too far away. And then we have to start thinking about where will Chloe's forever home be?